So Sadie is here with me to give you guys some pet updates. Starting with the cats, back in February, we took the Base Paws DNA cat test to find out what breed groups Sadie and JJ are a part of, but also got to see how their oral health is. So in April, after Sadie and JJ's yearly health exam at the vet, my vet concluded that it would be best for Sadie to get a dental cleaning because of her gingivitis. So we went ahead and booked that and my vet actually had reached out to me and asked if I had wanted to spend the day at the vets observing all of the surgeries as well as filming Sadie's dental for you guys. It was such an awesome experience and I liked being behind the scenes at the vet seeing how everything gets done. So now on to Sadie's dental. In order to do the dental, Sadie was first put under general anesthesia. Prior to this, she had blood work done to ensure that there weren't any underlying issues. So the first step was for them to take x-rays of all of her teeth. Cats have 30 teeth in total, and the x-rays can help show if there are any bone loss, fractures, tooth root abscesses, impacted teeth, tooth resorption, extra roots, and tumors. So getting the x-rays done is super important because it can see something that you wouldn't see just by the naked eye. Sadie actually only has 29 teeth because she had a premolar removed a while ago due to it growing in the wrong spot and causing irritation. Cats actually have two tooth roots, so if the tech is able to fit their probe between those two roots, which is called a furcation, this isn't a good thing. Luckily, Sadie did not have any of those. You can though see the red line on Sadie's top gum line, and this is an indication of gingivitis, which is why Sadie is having a dental. Sadie also had another tooth removed. This was one of her back molars, which is extremely tiny, and this brings her down to only 28 teeth. So after the x-rays and probing and tooth removal, they can begin to scale the teeth to remove the excess tartar. If we were to just leave Sadie as is with her gingivitis, it could eventually lead to tooth loss, bone infection, and bacteria entering her bloodstream. So it's important that she gets this cleaning done. While I was observing at the vets, an elder dog came in who actually had to have all of their teeth removed with the exception of two teeth because they were so rotten. And this is why it is so important to look after your pet's teeth. Once the scaling was done, the teeth then get polished, and after that, Sadie was done, and she recovered great. I'm so excited because we actually get to see if Sadie and JJ's oral health has improved after brushing their teeth daily with Cat Safe toothpaste and after the dental by using the Base Paws Oral Health Kit. So back in February, JJ had a medium risk of periodontal disease with a score of 5.89. He had a low risk of tooth resorption with a risk score of 1.51 and his risk of bad breath was also low at 2.86. Now for today's results, his risk for periodontal disease is now low with a score of 1.01. His tooth reabsorption is low with a score of 1.05 and his risk for bad breath is also low coming in at zero. Now for Sadie's results back in February, she was at a high risk for periodontal disease with a risk score of 8.27. For her tooth reabsorption, she also had a low risk score at 1.62, and her risk of bad breath was high with a score of 8.06. As you can see, Sadie's teeth are much worse than JJ's. So for her results now, she has a medium risk of periodontal disease with a score of 3.56, so it has significantly went down. Her risk for tooth reabsorption is low at 3.28, so it has gone up. I'm not quite sure why, but it is still a low risk. And her risk for high breath is still high. Sadie has always had stinky breath. Um, and she has a score of 7.38. It has gone down slightly, but Sadie just always has had bad breath. So by using the Base Paws Oral Health Kit every couple of months, this helps give you a baseline of how your cat's teeth are doing. Since JJ is here with us right now, I can kind of give you a little bit of an update on him because we went through a little bit of a fear period 
The couple of weeks ago, I woke up from a nap and JJ was absolutely terrified of everything in the house. He was scared of things that were there for months and weeks and he was scared of just everything and he hid under my bed for two days pretty much. I was having to feed him his food under the bed and I had to bring the litter box into the bedroom. Um, I don't know what the cause was. I wish I wasn't napping but it is what it is. He is much better now. There are still some things that spook him, but he isn't staying under the bed 24 seven. <laughs> I also wanted to quickly show you guys my elephant ear plant that I got recently. Um, look at this. This is a brand new leaf I just put out. It's like already massive and I can't wait for this thing to grow huge. Um, for those of you who really like plants and plant videos, I'm gonna be doing an updated plant tour video within the coming weeks, so look forward to that. You want to spin a Greek? Oh, wait, give some Nalula. There you go. Don't steal it. <laughs> so here are the bunnies. They are doing pretty well. As you can kind of tell, Lola's a little bit better now, but you can see her like little molting patches. She has been shedding like crazy. Guys, don't steal it from her mouth. Look, I'll get you. Here's another piece. You guys like fennel Greek, hey? Oh, it's good. Mmm. You gonna share with your sister? Share with her. Cleo. <laughs> and Cleo recently had to have some mats cut out from her bum that I hadn't noticed, and I had to have a friend help me. Thankfully, I was able to hold Cleo when my friend was able to cut and kind of brush them out. But they were very sneakily underneath her butt area. <laughs> and Lola, look at these little, I wanna pull these hairs that are just hanging by a thread, but she hates it. Cleo, Cleo has a couple too. Let's see. Oh, there we go, there's one. Oh, we were alone. Look. Here, have your own Fennel Greek. Look. Look, look, look. They love fenugreek, you guys. And look who else is awake, actually. It's like 7.40. Mr. Man. So speaking of Mr. Man, who wants to come out. Let's see. Oops. It recently was his birthday on July 5th. Come here. Come in. E? And I made him a little cake and everything, so I'm going to insert that footage right now. Mabel's not quite up just yet, but I did want to add in some more bedding to her enclosure because there's some areas that kind of just need some more 
Um, and when I set up her cage, I didn't have any left. So this is the full cheeks paper bedding in white. This is what I use for maple or dipper and waddles. So I got the full cheeks brown bedding. Why I use brown versus white, it li I don't know. It just, <laughs> I just do it like that. So Mabel came out to say hello. She was just in her burrows. I could hear her, so she was already awake. Hey. <laughs> so you guys always ask me where I got this play toy for the hamsters. This is made by Living World. They no longer make this exact one. Um, mine's a little destroyed. I don't know if you can tell. Mabel, are you making the great escape boy? Explain things to people. Listen up, miss. You can't do that. But I actually found some very similar ones on the American Amazon, so I went ahead and ordered them. They came in a pack of two. There's this smaller one that opens both of these. <laughs> Maybe are you putting on a show? And then there's one that has, like, it opens like this, and it opens like this, which I'm excited about. So each of the hamsters is gonna get one of these tonight to play with. Let's start with Mabel. You guys are so cute. Look at them. Laying together. Oh, the, the stretch of a lifetime. Use your brain. See, you almost did it. There you go. There you go. Good job, Mabel. <laughs> There's just some black oil sunflower seeds in there. There you go. Oh, see, she's too smart for those ones. She just flicks it right open. All right, on to Dipper. Let's see, he's done this before on the other one, so. Should be, oh, okay. You know what to do. Should be fairly straightforward. Oh. This is why the old one is very chewed up, mainly because of Dipper. You guys are way too smart for these puddle puzzles. I need to get something a little bit harder. <laughs> okay, that's. That's not part of the the thing. So it is 9.40 p.m. and Waddles has finally woken up. As you can tell, he's a, a later, <laughs> Mabel, he's a later riser than the Syrian hamsters and that's okay. Um, but I am gonna give him his enrichment toy. He gets this bigger one because I think this is easier for him to kind of flip. Do you want it? I don't know if you're gonna even use it because you're so small. Okay, go check it out. Whoa. <laughs> He's chewing it like what? Close, but that's not exactly how you're supposed to open it, buddy. Look, you move this like this. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do 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 there you go. Yeah, use your teeth. <gasps> wow! You did it! Good job! So if you are interested in seeing more waddles, I definitely would recommend checking out his What My Chinese Hamster Does at Night video because he does some pretty interesting things. He gets up to a lot of burrowing, foraging, chewing, digging, <laughs> all that jazz. Oh, 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 yes! Uh, oh my gosh. A literal genius. I actually wasn't expecting him to get it at all because he doesn't really like boredom breakers. So, kind of shocked. Yeah, push it. 
You are definitely my softest hamster. Chinese hamsters feel like no other. He's like, mother, please stop touching me. <laughs> I'm sorry, oh, is this in the way? There you go. Oh, you got it. Okay, well, I think that is it for today's video and updates. I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing all of the animals. And I will see you in my next video. Say goodbye. Bye.